is a strictly increasing function and u is a utility function representing the preference relation, uh, the weak preference relation, then um, our function v defined by v of x equals f of u of x is also a utility function representing the preference relation. So first we have some assumptions. Um, so let's let f um, this is from R into R be a strictly increasing function function. So what that means is that um, for all x and y uh, in this case in R, if x is less than y, then uh, this is actually an if norm here, um, f of x is less than f of y. So that's what a strictly increasing function is. And then um, also let u from x into R be utility function uh, for our preference relation. Okay, so we want to show that V, our function V, which is a composite function, is um, it represents the same uh, preference relation that u does. So here we're just going to set up a chain of if and only ifs and we'll see that the definition holds. So we'll start with letting x, y be elements of our set x and because u is a utility function we have this holding u of x is greater than or equal to u of y and this is the definition of our utility function and then from here we have notice that these are in R so they can be used as arguments in our function f so using the definition of an increasing function, since this is bigger than this, when we plug those into our function as arguments, we also maintain the, uh, the greater than or equals to u of y. And then this is just v of x being greater than or equal to v of y. So here we see that basically since these are all if and only ifs, we can cut out, we can sort of imagine that these, this middle part isn't here, and we see that x um, being weakly preferred to y means that v is greater than or equal to v of y, or v of x is greater than or equal to v of y, which is just the definition of being a utility function representing the preference relation. So we are done.